A trip to the beach. A time for playing in the surf and building sandcastles. But these kids are here for a different reason. Does everyone remember all the equipment Josh that we use? Yeah. 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 Two groups. One, two, three, four, five. I'm two. Why do I have to walk back? Let's we'll start filling up that side now. Get you the children at, at Karitani School have a far better understanding of, of their environment, I think, than, than I did when I was growing up. This understanding is strengthened by the Marine Metre Squared project. Be careful because you don't want to squash them. Look at that one, that's quite a big pillbox, isn't it? Yeah. Marine metre squared surveys allow the kids to take a look at organisms that are often hidden by the high tide. It's just a, a good focus for young ones to stand around and, and have a look more closely at, at what they might be otherwise walking over. Look at all the um, just different species of sh shellfish and worms and crabs and see the black sand underneath was, that hasn't had any oxygen. But these youngsters aren't just playing around in the mud. They're learning how to be stewards of the ocean. So if you take only a few cockles every day, then that would mean it would be still there when you're like older, which is the import, important part of it. To know how much stuff there is in that square. Any other bits of seaweed, guys, you can see? Are you sure? Okay, fine. Um, Okay, what about live animals? Are there any Once we've got all the data from the meter squared, we have to um, go back into the classroom and put it on the meter squared website. It might be in the scientific name because I think it was a scientific name. Okay. In core one, there were three cockles. In core two, there were seven. In core three, there were three. Yep. And core four, there was one. Then we can get those results and see if it's better or worse than last time. Sea as well, didn't we? So we had two kinds of sea leaves. Um, it'd be really interesting to compare that with the, when we do the rocky shore down the other end of the beach because mm. there's a lot of different kinds of seaweeds down there when we did it, wasn't there? The cool thing is that as soon as you lay that metre square down on the ground, it really focuses your eyes in on what's there. So even though they might see that stuff every day, they discover new things when they look at it with that scientific kind of eye. We want the best for all our ancestors and all our people, all the other people that come after us. They want to save it and want to keep it clean. It was a time when trees were getting cut down, time when wetlands were being drained, and so I guess now is, 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 a, is a change, really. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's in good hands. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. With a sharp eye, these kids are helping to protect their beaches, one square at a time.